Well, that was a long day. Uh, tonight is when my phone bill rolls over, uh, where I get all my data. As you can imagine, I go through an ungodly amount of data every week, and I had to buy extra data twice this month. Um, twice this month because I was getting too low. Oh, you know, they hit you with that, oh, yeah, 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 the slow data there. They'll give you 20 free gigabytes of slow data. Yeah. Thanks anyway. I got a phone, not an Atari. So tonight is when my phone bill rolls back over. So I couldn't upload a video from this morning on my way over here. I was just a little tight, especially when I only had one day left in my billing cycle. So, woke up this morning. Went to Mohawk. We had our horses going to Kentucky. I wanted to make sure that uh, the vet work we did, hopefully, and the equipment changes we made, hopefully, Una Madonna was steering good. That was step one. Two, I wanted to see if Blue Bayou Dio was good after her vet work, unbeatable Kemp after his vet work, um, and wanted to train White Tiger. Now, we're going to school him, but Amy was right. It's hot. Putting him behind the gate's a little silly. He's been behind the gate a million times, and all it's going to do is get him extra agitated right it made, it made no sense so we didn't school white tiger we trained him and i told joe and a couple other people my partners on the horse we'll school him next week we probably won't school him again we'll train him then we'll school him once the reason being so i'll, I'll paint the picture for you he's been training down good but we step by step we want to get him there there's no rush Amy trained him in 2-5 last half and 57 in the jog cart the other day and he was very good i went out today figured Go mile 58, 59, 57, whatever. And then at that point, we would gauge where he's at. Because this horse is going to have to come back and go a mile in 53, 54, right out of the gate. And this is how we prepare our horses to race. I do not want to go to the track, first start, and have somebody, and James will anyway, run the horse up the wood. Well, I would like to have them ready to go right out of the gate. You guys notice how our horses race. They can miss a month. And they can still look like they raced the week before because I like to have our horses ready to go when they come to the track. I feel that if we bring a horse to the track, it should be ready to race. That's how I feel. So um, I get up the quarter in 31, uh, half in 101 and 1, 101 and 2. Uh, and I want to mile 57 and 2 with White Tiger. Last half 56 flat. Last quarter in 27 and a piece. No hobbles. And felt decently safe. Interesting. Interesting. Now, this isn't a race. This was just a, a, a hard training mile. He trained good. He trained strong. He didn't feel like he wanted 55. He felt like 57 was, was a good stretch mark for him today. And uh, we had him sculpt after like a half out of five of mucus allergy season you're going to get that in almost every single horse and i don't know we've ever scoped a horse and he said nope no mucus at all i don't know that we have so a uh, tiny bit of just a minute amount of mucus no blood no pimples no redness no irritation exactly what we wanted to see he ate all his lunch he's feeling good we are going to draw his blood just to make sure and if that's the case what i felt today was a horse that's probably three weeks Oh wait, and this was the plan anyway. Two schoolers, a qualifier, two school, two qualifiers, whatever, and then race him. That's where he's at. Now he's gone through his preliminary training. Now we're going to start to tighten those screws down a little bit. Um, uh, so he'll train again next Wednesday. I may, I may be in Ontario. If I am, I'll go again. He doesn't have to go in 55 again. Again, it's not about going faster, faster, faster. It's about staying in his comfort zone. He probably can go in 55, and if he can, then go in 56. So I think that's what we'll do with White Tiger again. I'd like to see him go a mile 56. Um, and one of these times, I will get him behind the gate without the hobbles on. I was impressed. I was happy with him today. Amy always does a good job. She loves the horse to death uh, and always does a good job with him. Um, but he he, feel, he felt very good today. Um, Una Madonna, very good. Now, these horses raced. She raced on Friday. She's racing back Sunday. Uh, in another country far away in a far away land so there's no need to really push her hard today but I did want to stretch her just a quarter just to see how she was handling one had the vet work two two that change of the equipment we took that big roller burr and the Murphy blind off we didn't take the Murphy off took the roller burr off I added a line pole which is much less severe and then a bit burr on her which is a little more severe she's a little bit of a goof sometimes she's the type of filly where you might shove her once and say hey get over there the second time you shove her, she might take your head off. 
a sweet filly, but got a real salty, salty streak to her when you want to. That, but that's just her, and that's a good thing. She got that little bit of, okay, you can push me a little bit, but the next one's going to cost you. And that's kind of how she is, and I love that about her. So uh, I want to get a feel of how she trotted today. 212, last quarter in 28 and 3, and felt very comfortable and very good trotting on the right line, just a feather, just a hair in the turns, but we had a very dull line pull on. Told them to take that tape off that line pull, just expose that dull burr a little bit more to her neck, and I think she'll be able to zip around um, Oak Grove, no problemo, on Sunday. Uh, trained uh, Dominic, trained unbeatable Kemp, said he was quiet and he was good. Anytime he's quiet, that's a good day. Said he was very, very good today, trotting good, felt good, so that's awesome. And then I went with, uh, Dominic went with Blue Bayou Deal, said she was fantastic, uh, not running in at all, seemed good on her right hind, so great, uh, all great, all, all good things across the board. Una Madonna was good, Unbeatable Kemp was good, Blue Bayou Deal was good, and White Tiger was good. So I had a great morning, I blew out of there, straight to Pennsylvania, I told Steve I'd go drive his horse, now I emptied her out a little bit, but um, you know, I, liked, I wanted to win with her. Shot off 12 days. She scored down okay. She felt great at the half. Originally, I was going to let the eight go, and he said, no, no, he didn't want the front because his horse pulls up, I guess. So I drove on, 28-2. and two. I, Geez, I, she felt good, 58-58 in a piece. I felt when I hit the half, she was going to win at 56 in a bit. Fizzled out the last eight, maybe a little short. Um, we'll see how she races next week, I guess. And then um, came here tonight. Now, my expectations were, were high, but real fear he made that break that's on me that break tonight is on me that's the exact same place he made it in the qualifier i was a little angry i hit him a couple of swats coming out of the turn because he was running in he was just being a bit of a goof in the turns i didn't feel that he was running in for for any other reason you know he just laying up on top up on top of the head pole and just being silly so i hit him a couple of swats coming out of the turn he was pacing hard to the wire and he made a break in the same place okay uh we took the trailers off a couple of months ago on this horse. This is more for horse people. I don't want to get into the finer points of shoeing and will it make a horse sore, will it won't. Everything's different for each horse. I felt that the horse, uh, the trailers weren't helping him and would end up soaring him up. We took them off. He qualified and he looked good, but he has his moments. I have his hobbles out long also. Now, I hate wearing shadow rolls on horses. It's just a thing with me. Um, but... We've given them all the time we can. We can train them, we can race them, but we're gonna show up at a fair where there's lots of shadows someday, and a horse like Victor Cruz and Real Fear are both gonna jump over them. Real Fear felt good tonight, but again, I don't trust him over the shadows, him or Victor Cruz. If I had to, you could hit a helmet like Ryan. Ryan, Ryan you might wonder why Ryan uh, Stahl went into the two hole and went back in, going to the quarter, because the horse was looking at the shadows. In the morning, they're used to where the shadows are over in the turn and in the first turn, but at night, the shadows all over the place at Northfield Park, and he was, he was uncomfortable with what he was, he did his work, but he was not very comfortable looking at the shadows on the track, and that's just maturity. We're racing now, right? We've run out of time to teach him. We can still jog him over them in the morning, but I think where I'm gonna have to bite my lip and uh, buy a couple of shadow rolls, so. Um, that's what happened with Victor Cruz. Uh, if Ryan had been able to race him properly, I think he's very close. But that's a great mile anyway. How, how much do you think he can go right now? 57 last quarter, 28 and 3. Pretty respectable line by Victor Cruz. And real fierce horse we're going to have to take her with. I didn't I told Patricia and, and a couple of her clients that asked about his long hobble last week. I wanted to leave his hobbles long. I wanted to leave him the way he was and let him grow into himself. He's fast. Everybody can see that he's fast. But he has to be comfortable. Why is he on that line so hard? Our vet thought it was just the right knee bothering him a little bit. Just cold stuff. Feels like it's something more to me. We're going to change him back to a flip-flop up front. Uh, a flip-flop up front with a light full swedge or even an aluminum. We're going to put trailers on him behind. Uh, and I said pull his hobbles in a little bit and put a shadow roll on him. Today's on me. That's my fault. Uh, we'll probably take him over to Pennsylvania because Ohio has the, if you make a break off a qualifier, you have to qualify rule still. Um, Pennsylvania does not. He's eligible to race in Pennsylvania. He's not eligible to race in Ontario. So when they have the two-year-old maiden pace next week, we'll probably slide him in there. So uh, the Pacers went okay. Pretty happy with Victor Cruz. Yeah, I want to win in 56. Of course I did. Everybody did. 
can only do so much. And I think he'll be better next week for it. Uh, real fear. Uh, I'm almost certain we can help him. Still a little frustrated with that running in stuff. We'll work on continue to work on that with him. And work with our veterinarian to make sure we're not missing something with this particular horse. Next was the Trotters. Magical Tom went to the gate, the favorite. I, I thought he would jump up. No, I told you guys quietly the other day, and people that were in the know knew. I trained one mission by himself in 59 the other day at, Mall, at, at Northfield Park. I knew he wasn't going to be out trotted. Would he keep his head on straight? That was the only question that needed to be answered tonight. Clearly, he's getting better. He, he's, a, he's a squirrely little bugger, but Justin drove him good. The horse raced good. He felt good. He looked good. Magical Tom did not. I want to draw his blood and, and get to the bottom. I don't know what he was doing. Halfway down the lane, he got running in. It cost him fourth, but he, he didn't. I was happy that he was manageable. He allowed me to take him off the gate and put him in a hole, follow, but he never felt like he wanted to attack like he did in the qualifier that day. Um, or the schooler, I think. It was a schooler or a qualifier? It was a schooler. But that doesn't mean he's a bad horse. You know, you guys know our Colts are not as good as our Phillies. I've said this for a long time, months and months and months. The Phillies dwarf the Colts this year, in our barn anyway. What a mission looks like he's going to be very handy and looks like he very likely could be the flag bearer. I can't believe I'm saying this. What a mission looks like he's going to be the flag bearer heading into the next generation. And there's going to be people that say, Anthony, you know, is he good enough? I don't think anybody's just going to out-trot him. He'll follow. He's a quick little bugger. You know, is he going to, is he going to dominate? No. No, 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 no. We're going to need some mistakes, some good fortune, a good trip. Uh, and an error-free trip from 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 one mission, and he can do it if he chooses to. So, uh, and nothing wrong with Magical Tom. I did expect a little more from him tonight. But this is the time of year when you know we we get our, our hopes up and our hearts broken sometimes. And with Magical Tom, nice horse, gonna do us some good. He'll be a good Buckeye Colt, and we'll have some fun with him probably at the fairs. Yeah, he's gonna get better. A few little tweaks here and there. His hobbles were tight tonight. Is he gonna grow into them? Are we gonna let them out? Yeah, probably. Oh, we want them to be effective also. So um, the trotters were adequate. What a mission was good. Last half, 58 and three. He looked really, really good. And Magical Tom, he tried. Tried tried to do all he could uh, in a different race where maybe I'm on the half. I'm on the front at the half and 1-1. Maybe he wins in 59. Two minutes, something like that. Who knows? Uh, but he raced all right. And then Procrastinator. I, I, I didn't want him on the front tonight, but... First off, he's a big horse for a half-mile track. He saw him struggle a bit in the turns tonight. Secondly, I didn't want to sit in the three-hole and have to come first over to the favorite. It was an obvious move. I mean, that's paint-by-numbers race for him. Move him to the front. I put him in gear a little bit down the backstretch, thinking I could get him to swell up in the last turn. That horse popped out of the two-hole. He beat me fair and square. Uh, again, a horse that would fit better at Scioto or the Meadows. He's a maiden at either place. So I said to Jason, maybe see what day... Next week, I can't go to Scioto, I don't believe. Don't believe I can. Um, it would make for an extremely hectic day for me. I'll, I'll see what I can do. I'll, I'll see what I can do. No, certainly no guarantees. Um, certainly no guarantees. I think... Uh, I think... Uh, the Phillies are going to be... Are going to need drivers in Scioto next week. We do have our maiden trotters going. It's very important that I'm in Ontario for Crantini, for Brace for Landing. I understand that Sweet on Pete appears. I get along with her. She should be able to be raced by somebody else. And the, and the sad reality is, if you are one of the people out there that truly believe I'm a good driver and truly believe that I need to be there for Sweet on Pete, I, I think I'm going to have to break your heart this week. I don't know if I can be there for Pete on Tuesday. I'm sure the next Tuesday I can. This Tuesday, I just... I don't think I can. So uh, a lot going on with, with us. I'm in Kentucky Sunday, Monday. Tuesday, we do have four Colts entered. Brace for Landing, Crantini, Carter, Michael Dio, and Nothing But a Dreamer. Four of our very best horses. And these are rookies. These are babies. Two of them are coming off breaks. One coming off a qualifier. I need to be in Ontario on Tuesday night. So um, that's where I'm going to be. But can procrastinate a race down there on the same card as Sweet on Pete and, and uh, Purple Aura? Obviously, we're going to race. We're going to race the other filly in the maiden here. Uh, one, two, skip a few. I can be here Wednesday probably, but I, I just don't think I can be inside on Tuesday. But hopefully, procrastinator can. Uh, procrastinator can. So with that, uh, an okay day. 
you know, we're easing our way into cold season. Uh, super excited about a lot that's going on. And obviously tomorrow we get Swinging Senorita going again. I know a lot of people were a little miffed that I picked over. But guys, keep in mind, I have to do what I think is best for the horses and for the clients. I already know how good Swinging Senorita is. Yes, she's a little green at the gate. Brady Brown's not an idiot. This kid's got a good set of hands, and he's very, very smart with babies. I'll talk to him before. We'll try and get her up closer to the gate. She needs a martingale. We'll have that on her tomorrow. Um, so Brady will drive Swing Senior Year. I'm going to drive Sister Solange. This filly has stakes coming up on July the 1st. I need to drive her, too. Uh, and then Smoking Hot Irish Girl in the, the second one, and Leaps and Bounds. So Amy's filly is going in Leaps and Bounds, and we're going to race... Um, we're going to race our girl, uh, Smoking Hot Irish Girl. Yes, the sister will race tomorrow. Also, um, Thursday evening, what am I going to do with myself? I don't know what to do. I'm going to be over here because on Friday, on Friday, we get the Colts. Austral Hanover, Fashion Presidente are both going now. Uh, also is Columbus. Columbus is another horse. Get some growing to do mentally and physically. Uh, Mike Wilder's driving. I'm just going to ask him, listen, float out, drop in the three or four hole. Don't move him till halfway down the lane. Columbus needs to. He's a horse I could see becoming a good horse. It's going to take time. He's a perfect horse for like James James to to have, but unfortunately James is in Ontario. So Columbus could be our best horse, but he isn't right now. I think as it stands right now, the Philly division, the Philly side of our next generation is up in the air. I told Luke to cut uh, to cut the high enterprise loose tomorrow. I'd like to see her go a mile in two minutes or two one. Uh, I'm going to go with leaps uh, with uh, Smoking Hot Irish Girl. And we already know that the front runner right now is Swinging Senorita. She's a beautiful filly. So a lot of exciting things taking place. I still believe we have six Sire Steak Trotting Phillies here in Ohio. And the other side of that is I don't know if we have any Sire Steak Trotting Colts. We have one colt that's going to race in the next generation. And if he grows into being a good horse, fine. I think Magical Tom will have some fun in the Buckeye with him and the Ferris this summer. Uh, and so, obviously, uh, What a Mission will be the Ferris. And I, 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 I don't, I find it hard to believe that What a Mission is going to be a gold colt all year, but he certainly looked good tonight. So, props to him. The horse looked fantastic. Uh, and then Columbus has got some learning to do, but that's why we're here. That's his job. So, um, things are underway here in Ohio. Look good. Pacers, got to get the wrinkles, still out of real fear, but you can see the speed is there. We have a plan. Shoeing changes, equipment changes, venue changes. Um, Victor Cruz will be back here again next week. I thought he looked great. We will, I will, oh, I hate it. I will buy a couple of shadow rolls for the horses, put them on, and then we'll race them next week. So that's where we're at. That's where we're at right now. 18 minutes. You guys should be all caught up now. Um, lots of racing going on. Super excited about Sunday, Monday, Kentucky. Una Madonna draws the rail. Unbeatable Kemp drew the outside. Blue Bayou Dio drew the inside in a very short field, six-horse field. And then we have Yes. What about the open truck going for $22,000 on, mo on, on Monday? Wow. Really hope he fits in down there, boy. Wow. And uh, Walk on the Moon is racing also. So lots going on. And uh, uh, you guys may be keeping up with what's going on with the horse we're looking at over the next two days. Uh, that's exciting also. Uh, a lot of question marks, a lot of questions that have to be answered, and I will get to all of those very, very soon. So with that, I'm going to see you see you later, see you tomorrow. I'll uh, tomorrow my my all my uh, all my data's back on, so uh, you'll have a video tomorrow afternoon after our girls race. I might make one for you tomorrow night after our horses race. I will talk to you all very soon. I hope you had a great day. Take care.